Hello and thank you for tuning in to the first of three videos to introduce TS Assist, Toshiba Machine's new robotic programming assistant tool. This video series is presented by TM Robotics. This is going to be a three-part video series where we're going to cover the basics of creating new programs, running and jogging the robot in the simulation mode, and adding geometry to the 3D view, which is in part of the new feature set with the TS Assist software. To start with, you need to make sure you have your dongle inserted in the USB port of your PC. The red light needs to stay on. This ensures the driver is fully loaded. Next, you're going to click on the TS Assist icon to open the software. Once you open the software, you'll be greeted with this welcome screen. To help you better understand a little bit about how TS Assist does file management, I'd like to explain solutions, projects, and files, and the difference between each of these. TS Assist has really been optimized for running projects with multiple robots inside of it. The way the setup is considered is you create a new solution. Think of a solution like an assembly line or your work cell or the, the place where you have multiple robots installed. Inside of that solution, you're going to have projects. Think of each project as the physical robot itself. And then each project has files associated with it. This is going to be your program files. This is your SCOL program that you're creating for each robot. Also included in this would be the parameter files. So you see you have a solution. Inside of the solution you can have many projects. Each project contains one robot and all of the files and parameter files associated with that robot. So let's go ahead and create a new solution and work through the process of creating a robot program file. On the welcome screen for TS Assist, you're going to be prompted to create a new solution. So in this case, we're going to create a new solution and we are going to call this line one, simulating, for example, an assembly line that's going to have multiple robots on it. Now we need to set the reference, which is the location on your PC where all of the files are going to be stored. In this case, I'm going to go to my TS Assist folder that I have on my computer here and select my demos folder. Once I've created that, I can press OK. And I will then be prompted to create a new project. At this point, we will go ahead and create a new project. And this is where we're going to select the type of robot that this project will include. So in this case, we'll set up a SCAR robot that is the new THE series. We'll go with the THE 400 with the standard controller. And now we need to input a project name. In this case, we'll call it Robot 1. We've now created a new project inside of a new solution. Solution is line one, the project is robot one. Now we're going to need to create a new program file for this robot. In order to do this, we're going to do start editor and we're going to create a new program file. And in this case here, I will just call it file one. This will open up our editor window, and at this point we can go ahead and enter our code. I'm going to cheat a little bit, and I'll just copy and paste some code in. As you can see here, I've put in a very basic program. Now this program has three points associated with it. The home point, P1, and P2. For those of you familiar with the old TSPC software, we had the two windows. You had the text editor and the data editor. In the new TS Assist software, it's all brought together in one screen. However, the functionality still exists with the text editor in one portion and the data editor, in this case our point table, in another screen, another part of the window here. So we're going to enter our points. We have home, P1, and P2. I'm going to save this program. Once we've saved, we can also do our syntax check or our grammar check. 
We can run that and it will tell us that we have succeeded and there are no errors. If there were any errors, we'd be able to jump to that error and it would show us the line number and highlight the error that is existing. So we've done that. We're going to save our changes here. And we are going to exit the file editor. We have just created our first robot program. Stay tuned for part two where we're actually going to run this program. Thank you.